Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Trey Gowdy and welcome to Sunday Night in America. If I could write my epitaph, it would simply read husband, father, and prosecutor. Being a prosecutor was the highlight of my professional life. For 16 years working beside people who shared a singular mission, justice. I couldn't tell you the politics of a single co-worker at the U.S. Attorney's Office or federal agents because politics did not come up. We were too busy investigating and prosecuting real crime to think about something as small as politics. Plus, we knew even then, politics ruins whatever it touches, religion, education, sports, and our justice system. My, how things have changed. Now we find ourselves trying to reconcile competing realities, the reality of where we are versus where we aspire to be. Prosecutors like to ask questions. Who, what, when, where, how? Good prosecutors and cops focus on the facts, on the evidence. What is the evidence? How strong is it? Has it been examined and cross-examined? What have we missed? What does the law say? And we focus on the law because we're a nation of laws. No one is above the law, but no one is beneath it either. Consistency, fairness, impartiality, equality, those words should mean something. And the best way to prove their meaning is by applying them equally to friend and foe. Lady Justice, after all, is blindfolded for a reason. The competing reality we confront is the past six years of watching the Department of Justice and the FBI. Those once venerable institutions are now seen as mere extensions of the political parties. We remember Jim Comey's press conference where he cited all the reasons Secretary Clinton should be held to account, but would not be. We remember the FBI agent who repeatedly besmirched a Republican presidential candidate and yet was put in charge of investigating that very same candidate. We remember that agent said he could smell Republicans out of Walmart. That agent promised to stop the Republican from becoming president. That agent even said he had a plan in case the Republican won. We remember how the FBI and DOJ handle Secretary Clinton, and the contrast is obvious. We remember the FBI drafted a statement clearing Secretary Clinton before they even talked to her. No search warrant on her house, no seizure of documents. We even remember the former FBI director admitting he tried something with a Republican White House he would have never tried with a Democrat White House. And then he sat back and soaked up the audience applause. So for those wondering why Republicans see a double standard from the FBI and DOJ, wonder no more. We should want facts because facts are all that matter. But facts should matter equally, no matter who's being investigated. And many Americans believe that's not the case anymore. Many Americans believe the blindfold slipped that Lady Justice is peaking, that the FBI treats Republicans differently from and worse than Democrats. Americans are concluding the Department and the Bureau are just two more institutions ruined by politics. On the other hand, when facts are established, when the evidence does become clear, we should, as good cops and prosecutors do, be persuaded and be influenced by those facts. And therein lies the challenge with allegations of bias. It impacts the reality and the perception of how and how hard those facts were pursued. There was a time when federal agents and prosecutors would have been entitled to the benefit of the doubt. But that was six years, several botched investigations, more than a few biased, fired, and convicted FBI employees, and several FISA warrants ago. That was before a political party could launder opposition research through the FBI. That was before you simply wrote a letter to Secretary Clinton asking for her documents back and then did nothing when she didn't return them. The benefit of the doubt is long gone. So yes, do what we tell every jury in America to do. Wait on the facts. Wait on the evidence. Be fair. And maybe while we're waiting for the facts, the FBI and DOJ should spend some time trying to figure out why even their old employees have lost confidence in their objectivity. Justice 
has not changed. It's still a virtue. It's still worth pursuing, worth dedicating your career to. It's worth practicing to friend and foe alike. And when justice rolls down like waters, it is a beautiful sight to behold. No, justice has not changed at all. But the Department of Justice has. And let's hope that's not on the epitaph. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.